Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. A juicy turkey, mountains of mashed potatoes, pie, and football. That is a recipe for an awesome Thanksgiving. Remember what your plate looked like tonight? Bucks linemen laugh at your effort. Chris Fisher reports on a day known for feasting. If you want to know how to eat right, ask a 300-pound lineman. Believe it or not, more football takes place than just on your television on Thanksgiving Day or in your backyard. The Bucks actually had to practice today. Just one of the many traditions that NFL players enjoy. I go um, probably go to two or three houses because you know I'm a big guy I like to eat, so I end up finding my way around and finding something to eat. My mom's sweet potato pie is, is hard to beat. What well, I look forward to the most is probably sweet potato pie. My, uh, my, my stepmother always makes the best sweet potato pie. I ain't too picky. I love the whole little, whole little feast, though, you know. It's my day to eat. And that's kind of the thing. Our grandma wants to see how much we can put away that first day so she's not stuck with leftovers. So we, uh, she puts us to work. Do you have to wear bigger pants on Thanksgiving? <laughs> Normally something with elastic uh, waistband is, uh, is preferable. I usually got something with a, um, with a stretch band on it already, you know, so I'm usually good. Yeah, I'm just, you know, glad, happy to have another year to be able to get with my family and friends. So besides the elastic pants and all the delicious food that comes with Thanksgiving, the Bucks will all agree that family is the biggest tradition on Turkey Day. Reporting from one Buccaneer place, Chris Fisher, 10 News. Stretchy pants are great. What good is Turkey without pigskin? First Thanksgiving Day game was outstanding. Fourth quarter, Texans down seven against the Lions. They gobble up 97 yards and tie the game. Arian Foster stuffing it home to tie it. We go to overtime. Houston never led until that Shane Graham field goal. That's a good winner right there. 34 to 31. Texans are your winners. Not Thanksgiving without the Dallas Cowboys hosting the Redskins. Robert Griffin III, the rookies had an outstanding season. 68 yards to Aldrick Robinson right there. Wide open for the touchdown. 7 to 3 skins. Close game late though. Griffin tosses to Niles Paul. Yeah, defense. Anybody play defense, please. Walks in. Redskins nip the Cowboys 38 to 31. Hey, Knowles hate Gators, and guess what? Uh, Gators also hate Knowles. Just the way it is. Bitter rivals face off again this weekend for the first time since 2000. They're both ranked in the top 10. The last two years have gone the way of the Knowles. They're looking to embarrass the Gators again on Saturday. Everybody who go to Florida and go to Florida State, you know, they're looking to the last game of the season. Um, it's just a great rivalry, and um, we have it here at home this year, so that, that makes it even better. Holding calls, penalties, you know, missing blitz and uh, blitz assignments, drop pass, fumbles, that's stuff we have to clean up this week because um, teams like Florida, we, you won't be able to make those mistakes against. The USF is on its third starting quarterback in three games. B.J. Daniels broke his ankle against UConn, and Bobby Eveld hurt his shoulder last week against Miami. So in steps freshman Matt Floyd. It's not the kid Skip Holtz wanted to see on the field late in the year, but it is the guy he's turning to to try to upset Cincinnati tomorrow night. A lot of people are asking, why do you go play the game? And to go out and compete and play at a high level, I think will go a long way in being a rallying cry. And a lot of guys on this football team and a lot of people that support this program and feeling really good about the future with a young quarterback who's got three years of eligibility remaining. So, I, like I said, I think there's still a lot to play for. And I think Matt will go out and he'll compete. They need a big win. Hey, I spared you the Patriots and Jets game tonight. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. For all you New York fans out there, Thanks. gave up 35 points oh. in one quarter. It wasn't good. No. <laughs> That's not good at all. Too much, too much turkey. All right, we'll be right back.